This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Carly Barnett. One South Florida doctor says Miami is now the epicenter of the pandemic. This comes as the state added more than 12,000 new coronavirus cases in the latest update. Governor Ron DeSantis stopped by Jackson Memorial Hospital yesterday. We did not get a clear answer from the governor on a plan to slow the spread or a statewide mask mandate. Meanwhile, health experts stressed their frustration during a virtual news conference about people not taking personal responsibility, especially while indoors. And and the clock keeps ticking down to figure out how the school year will begin in South Florida. In Miami-Dade, families must go online by tomorrow to pick their preference for August. They choose between on-campus learning, virtual instruction, or a combination. Campuses will only reopen if the county is in phase two of its reopening plan. In Broward, four options are on the table, but the superintendent is on record saying he sees no path to schools fully reopening in the next five weeks. There's already a long line this morning for testing at Hard Rock Stadium. The site processed just more than 1,000 tests yesterday. Miami Beach Convention Center processed close to 1,200. But long wait times for testing and for results have some people concerned that the system is at its limits. The latest data shows about a quarter of all tests in Miami-Dade came back positive, and that number is about 13% in Broward. Caught on camera, an argument over a mask leads to an attack at a local restaurant. City of Miami released this video showing two people getting into an argument over someone not wearing a mask. It quickly escalates into several people fighting. This happened on July 5th at the Latin Cafe 2000 located on Lejeune Road. Police are looking for the four people seen attacking the elderly man. If you have information, you can call Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Now, CBS4 weather. Good Tuesday morning. It's a warm, muggy start with low to mid 80s and a mix of sun and clouds as we look from our broad camera. Radar is nice and quiet. We're not seeing any rain yet. However, later on, we'll see the potential for showers and some storms. Highs in the low 90s and feeling like the hundreds. As we head into the next few days, we're going to start to see that rain chance increasing. Tomorrow for your Wednesday, some scattered storms, but showers and storms will be likely Thursday, Friday, and likely into Saturday. That's the news for now, and you can always find us on CBSMiami.com. Tune in to CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.